Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at data compression with Power BI. So Power BI under the hood stores uh, data in so it uses columnar compression. What that means is that if the values repeat for a particular column, it will be able to compress the data. But if the values do not repeat in a specific column, it will not be able to compress the data. So I'll just show you what I mean. I've got few files here. So the first file has just the value one in six rows, sorry, in six columns, and it's just one. So there is one is repeated one million times for each of these uh, rows or columns. And the second one is, so for like, this one is all different. So it starts with one, it goes to one million, and you can see all the records are different. So in this case, because the columns do not have the same values, it will not be able to apply column or compression and the size of the Power BI file will not be less. And the third one I have is, what I've done is I've repeated the same value for all the six column. So from one till uh, 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 number five. So the first row is has one, second row has two but what is important to understand in this case is that for each of the columns if i drag it so it, it goes on till 1 million but none of the column values are same so when power bi will try to compress the data it will not find any uh, repeated values for a column and it will not be able to apply compression so let me, I've got these files open here and sorry, uh, stored here on the data. So, so you can see the same records is roughly 12 MB and different repeated records where the a row contains the same values for each of the columns is 41 MB and all different records is 46 MB. So let us uh, import this data into Power BI and see how that goes. So let me just open Power BI. And let me just close this first. And for the first one, we will. Click on get data and then because it's a CSV file, I will just go and select the same records and click open. So as you can see, it is got the same records. I'll just say load and it will uh, start loading that data into the Power BI file. So it's essentially brought all that data into the file now and you can see here that the value of one. So I will just show you just got one. So let me now save this and I will just call it same. and save and I will close this so and let's go to the data compression folder and you can see it has stored a 12 MB file as a 30 KB file so that's a huge amount of compression and you can see the columnar compression at play so let's go back again into Power BI and in this case uh, we will try to import all the records where a row have the same values but none of the columns will have repeated values so let's just uh, hit get data from a text and csv file and in this case i will select different repeated records and i will click open so this is roughly a 40 meg file and you can see that uh, so each row has so the first row has one repeated, second has two repeated, three. But at a columnar level, a column does not have any repeating value. So it will not be able to apply any compression. So let's just say load now. So 
so as we were discussing it's a 40 meg file or around 41 meg and we will save this and we'll call it same but repeated records and I'll just click on save and then we'll once it's sort of saved we'll just close it and see what the file size is so let's just go on to my disk and see where has it saved uh, so it's saved here so I'll just cut this and bring it a level up and you can see it's a 67 meg file so it's not a, it's not compressed the data in fact i don't know what's going on but the data size has increased so now i will go again on power bi desktop and this time we will load data where all the records are different and i will just say get data from a text or csv file and all different records so I'm just gonna load this now and you can see all the records are different and I will just say load and this should actually give us the same size as the previous one because there's no compression And I'll just save it not in the data folder and but I'll save it here and say all and let me hit the save button and you can again see it's a six so it's not much a difference in terms of the size now my guess is that it is storing it as a number so the actual file size is greater than even the size in the data file and so in this uh, video we've sort of explored that power bi works really well when we have large volumes of data and we have repeating val values so it can compress and use columnar storage what i would like you to do as an exercise is that uh, create another file and for the first column just have one second just two so all the values in column one is one all the values in column two is two and so on and then try to import that data my guess is that it will still manage to highly compress that data as well so in this video we explored how power bi compresses data and how it stores it i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing and give me a yell if you want me to create something specific or uh, to tackle a certain topic. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Thanks again.